Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Atten and I'm here today in this video to provide you with a video of how you can decompile Lua bytecode. Now, a Lua compiler is not designed, built or intended for security. So anyone who's saying that I'm trying to teach people how to hack, go away. The Lua compiler is not built for, it is not designed for or not intended for providing security. It is designed to provide efficiency and obfuscation. You cannot achieve security through obscurity. But anyways, on to another point. If you actually do want to secure your Lua files, use the actual encryption um use the encryption algorithm that comes with the Lua compiler, or encrypt um the, the MTA Lua compiler, or actually encrypt the scripts yourselves and make a system to decipher them. Now I'm going to quickly just go ahead and compile this source code. As you can see, we have generated a compiled Lua file. You can't read or edit this and it would run a bit faster than the regular Lua source code. Now there are many, many reasons why you may perhaps want to read the source code like compiled source code. You know, it, for example in DayZ you want to make additions to the source code or perhaps check it for malware backdoors and so on. In MTA, even with the MTA compiler's RSA encryption crypto system, you can get around it by using a few different little interesting functions built into MTA. I am however not going to go into detail on that and I encourage everyone else just to stay away from that topic as it would cause quite a bit of a kerfuffle in the community. Now let's say we don't have access to this source code and we want to figure out what's actually in this bytecode. Now you can see here we can see names and things like that. We can see print and we can see some of the things that we encoded into the um, compiled code as a string. Now as you can see here all of this is compiled. We can't really edit or read this without breaking it so we're going to have to go ahead and decompile it. The first tool I'm going to be using is LuaDeck. Now this decompiler, it's okay, but it's nowhere near as good as Unlua C. With Lua Deck, you'll use a, com a um, CMD sort of a batch command like Lua Deck, the name of the file you want to decompile, and the name that you want out of it. So we're going to we're going to decompile um, script.lua C, and then we're going to create script.lua. Now we can go ahead and read it. It says here, decompiled using Lua Deck 2.1, revision 80 from Google Code. And, it says, and it all looks, you know, relatively decent. I mean, if you put this into something like MTA or into an interpreter, it would run pretty well, but you can get better results. And Lua Deck has a very hard time of dealing with scripts that are larger and more complex, which, you know, it effectively makes decompiling a, you know, like decompiling something using Lua Deck versus on Lua C, it's a, you know, Lua C just beats it by miles. On Lua C beats it by miles. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is just delete this because we don't want it. And we're going to cut our compiled script and we're going to put it into on Lua C. And we'll close this on Notepad. Now we'll delete the source code for it. Well actually no, we'll keep that. But Unlua C, as you can see here, um, Unlua C .jar is a Java-based executable, and it's a Java-based decompiler rather than Unlua. Um, well, I mean Lua Deck, which is based on, I believe, it's C and C plus plus. Unlua C is more developed, and it's been, well, it's really in the end just more advanced. Now, much like Lua Deck, it also does have its batch commands to decompile stuff. Now. You may need to change some environmental variables if you're going to use Unlua C, but once you get it working, it's a pretty effective decompiler. You need to put in java-jar unlua c.jar, which is this, and you'll need to put in the name of the script you want to decompile and then the output of the name of the script you want to decompile. So as you can see here, we've got our, you know, compiled script. We want to figure out what's in this. We want a, you know, a representation of this in the form of source code. So we click here, and assuming everything works properly, you should see a relatively decent looking um, decompiled um, 
decompiled Lua source code. You know, you can use this here, this Lua source code, to modify the program or the Lua application that you want to look at. You can make changes to it and so on. Now, with Unlua C, it does decompile Lua 1.5, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't decompile anything above about 1.5. I don't think it does uh, 5.2 or anything else like that. But I do think there are other compilers out there, but with MTA, which is the sphere that I'm focused on more than most things, you know, decompiling 1.5 is about all you need to do, and that's really just that. This is how you can decompile Lua scripts. I'm not teaching this to people so that they can steal scripts, but that they can take scripts that are out in the community, possibly outdated in the case of MTA, and then re-engineer them into something that they can use, rather than them just sitting and being wasted. I hope you enjoy this video, guys, and I hope that it's useful to you. I encourage you to be ethical with what you do with this information and not to d use it to, you know, steal scripts and so on. But, um, yeah, I do hope you enjoy this video. I hope that you found it useful. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll leave links to the um, Unlua C application and Lua deck below for you guys to use and try out. Feel free to ask questions, and that's all.